everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. So it appears that I have been living under a rock because until last night I didn't even know that these things existed. I made some little ones and I thought, well, if I can make some little ones, I'm going to make some big ones too. So these ones are made from 6x6 paper and the big ones are made from 12x12 paper. If you happen to be a rock dweller like myself, then this video is for you. Today I'm going to make the little ones and the big ones on camera. And out of all of the crafts that I've ever done, this has got to be the quickest one. So let's get started. This project is really good to use up those six by six pieces of paper. And especially if you've got some ugly ones that you don't really know how to use. So I am starting off with a single sided one. So we're just folding into a triangle like this. And I'm going to use my bone folder. Okay, now we're grabbing the top part and we are folding it down. And now you will see this where this point is. We want to fold that part and we want to line it up with the fold up here. We're lining it up and we're doing the same thing on the other side. So I just usually hold my nail there and I fold it this way. Then I'd open it up, place this underneath, and that's it. Now I'm just going to round these corners here, this one and this one. And before I glue it all down, I'm going to ink the edges. This step is totally up to you, so I'm just inking the edges, the ones that you can see. Maybe I'll open this up ink a little bit here and here and maybe I'll ink the top one here that's visible I might even want to ink this edge here totally optional and this one here and now I'm just going to glue it down so it stays shut so I'm just applying glue along this edge and this edge or you can just apply it here just under there. Here we go. We want that to stay down like so. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue up here. And there we go. And that's it. One is done. Let's do a larger sheet now. Okay, so this is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So I'm just going to fold into the triangle and I'm going to make sure that all of my edges align. This is such a great project for junk journals, for happy mail, for if you're gifting some money to your grandkids or whatever, you pop some money in there, you decorate them, whatever, you know. Okay, so I'm folding this bit down all the way down, just like that. And now folding this part and aligning it with the other fold that I've just done and the same on this side the thinner the paper the better this scrapbook paper is quite thick but it still works and now I'm just going to round these corners and that's how this one's gonna look I'm just gonna check if I like it the other way better so it can be either way if you have a double-sided paper. I think I actually like it this, this way better. And I mean, you can do with this, you know, whatever. You can decorate them in whichever way you like. It can be as simple as this, just fold and done. Or you can continue adding things to it, images, die cuts. And I'm going to do that with these. I'm going to decorate them a little bit. And now I'm just going to apply my glue the top here and the top here and some glue up here you can have this as a tuck spot as well and here as well so simple so quick so easy so now to the decorating part i'm just having a look at some of my die cuts that i've got see what kind of goes i think anything will look absolutely fine 
I think I like that. Maybe I could add a little flower, a little sentiment there, or a butterfly. I think anything looks nice. So when I was doing my research on this, and by research I mean YouTube videos, I'm not sure who uh, exactly brought this to the junk journaling world. The one that I could see is perhaps Pink Oddbird. Maybe she's the one who brought this to the junk journaling world. She has a tutorial. Um, but from the comments that I could see, people have been making this in high school, apparently primary school. I've never made this. I've never seen them until last night. So I missed out. Before I glue that down, I'm going to add some goodies into the pocket just to see how it's going to look. So maybe something like this, just some fun stuff, something like this, pressed flowers, looks good. I had all these ready, I have tutorials and all of these. Okay, and now I think maybe I'll add a little bit of bling. So this is where the overthinking part starts happening. If you let it, I think whatever you do and whichever way you decide to embellish these beauties, I think it will look perfect. Anything you do is going to look good. So I'm going to do this. I'm just going to glue everything down. I'm very happy with how this looks and I'm especially happy with how long this took. It's done in no time and the fun thing is that they all end up looking completely different depending on the type of paper that you use, the type of embellishments that you use. Double-sided paper looks like this so you can see two different patterns I guess or like this and then I might even say these ones aren't embellished but I actually really like the single-sided paper and I especially like that the paper that I don't particularly like like for example this one I wouldn't use it in a journal I really like it in a little project like this especially after adding a few little bits and pieces on it to decorate it like this I think it looks beautiful so for this project all you need is a square the size doesn't matter you can have little ones 6 by 6 12 by 12 or you can have whatever you have so let's say for example this here is a little off cut that I've got and it's not a perfect square. So all I'm going to do is meet my points up here and do my fold. And then I can see that I have extra here and extra here. I'm simply going to cut that off. So what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that you don't have to go and measure perfect squares. You can go and use your off, uh, you know, off cuts from projects and things that you have and just do it this way. So now I'm going to make a teeny tiny one. I like this side better. And here is a little teeny tiny one. Oh my god, the fun to be had. You can use book pages, you can use whatever you have, whatever paper you can get your hands on, you can use that. I can't believe that I've made these in record time. You can see all of the different little sizes though, so don't get hung up on what size paper you're using. All you need is a square. It doesn't matter how large the square is. So let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I would especially love to see if there's other people like myself who have been living under a rock and never heard of these before or seen them before. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!